away he goes. The world number four, fourth after dressage here at Babington. Piggy French with Vania Kamira. This horse has been top five and runner-up at Burley in recent years at this level. 11th at the preparatory run at Belton in Lincolnshire this spring. Piggy French, Vanier Kamira coming to the staircase. Piggy has a really good partnership with this mare. Very confidently of that. Piggy is one of the best riders in the world. She, we were in a team together last year at the World Championship. She's great fun to be with and just so professional and makes it look so easy. So, so talented. Got her 2019 off to a great start with a top five result with her wake horse, her World Games horse at Kentucky just last weekend. He probably didn't get the jump he wanted over the water, but he took the chance and uh, jumped the direct route through there. There. She just wanted to straighten up for it, which is what I, I did as well, because that's quite a big ask early on into the shade. You've come from the light to the dark, and you just want to get a really good jump before you ask these horses to jump these big corners here. This mare has had several different riders before. But Piggy's now been riding her for a few years. Got, as we can see, some really good performances with her, very experienced. Yeah, Paul Tatnam, former badminton winner, and the ride on Vanny and Camera before Piggy took back. But actually, Piggy started the horse originally before stepped up to international. Going to the big log pile over in the deer park. She did. She just had a really good balance through there and then opened her left hand and the mare straight away landed in balance and look what she wanted her to do. We were just talking a little bit about the revised flag rule this year where 15 penalties can be awarded if it's a judge that a horse's body hasn't jumped the fence inside the flag and, and you said at your riders meeting you were given a little bit of further guidance on that this week Tina. Yes but the, the rule had been written uh, and changed for this year and, and some events have been taking the rule very literally that if the flag has come down as you've seen on many occasions today and automatically giving the riders 15 penalties but this as you can imagine doesn't seem very fair. Piggy jumping onto the bank oh well done sat up and let the mare really look what she's doing she gave her a pat she was pleased the way she responded to that. So the grand jury here said, look, if the horses do jump the fence, get their shoulders and quarters through, if they do knock it off with their hind legs, if they happen to swing it or if it catches a rider's foot, that will not be penalised. So they made it very clear to riders not to be worrying that your competition is going to be thrown away just because a flag comes out. Another aspect of that is I know that the Willis brothers who build together with Eric Winter, the designer, they actually put some of the flags out on extender blocks so that they were just a little bit beyond the line of the jumpable fence to just give it a little bit more uh, of breathing space. I think he's got into a very good rhythm. She's naturally a very fast rider. We don't have a clock on her here, but just by her body language, I think she's very happy where she is on, on the markers. She doesn't seem to be pushing the mare out of her stride. And again, it was smooth is fast earlier on for Graf Liberty and Christopher Burton, but if Piggy can catch the time as fourth after dressage, she would go back out in front of Christopher Burton. Oh, yeah, Piggy almost turned too soon and then was aiming for the widest part of the corner, but the mare was so balanced that actually it was easy for her. She's really moving her on now to make up a little bit more time as she's got away from there. The mare can gallop a little bit on her forehand, so her head can be carried a little bit low. So Piggy does have to set her up just to get her back in balance again, which she does very easily. Oh, little wobble there.
But here, Chimera, Piggy French coming to the World Horse Welfare table. This one with the shallow water flowing across the top of it. Promador for this former World Young Horse gold medalist, Vinir Chimera. Chimera, 14 years old now, so she's racked up a lot of experience. And the piggy pushing, making sure that she jumped back. That is a very green, big green monster coming out of the lake there. That is a lot bigger than it shows on television. So you just need to have the momentum to jump that. Effortless. Very easy through there, and as you can see on the camera, it's, it's quite dark when you're in, in the woods there, and just very easy. But the, the second ox of the front rail is on a bit of an angle that could just, if you lost a little bit of control, could cause horses to run out there, but that looked easy. It's still full of running, which is good to see, as she gets, gets to the top of the hill here. Piggy respecting that last, yes. You really just have to let the horses come round, but keep hold of that right rein. It's very easy for the horses to drift. And when you've got the crowds in front of you, they know they're going left. She yes. has to be very near close to the time, I would think. She's, she's certainly moving on, she's keeping it going. Yeah, she's maybe 10 seconds down. She didn't waste any time there now, but she's now wanting to really get this mare to travel down to make up some time. Whoa, Piggy saw a good stride there. <laughs> she, really she senses the time's getting tight, and that I was quite, she... quite a risk, but she knows the horse, and, and she's a brilliant cross-country rider. So look at this clock. Is she going to make it? Go on, Piggy. She will be Pessimistically, close. she's eight to ten seconds down, but Piggy isn't going to let that trouble as she picks up the pace as she comes into the ring. But it's galloping a bit more than some of the others that have got to this stage. So I don't think she's quite going to make it, but she's going to be very, very close. She'll cut in tight. Now she's got to make the turn afterwards. It's oh. about how close these finish flags are. Yeah, two seconds over. 26.8, though, she still holds on to the lead at the moment with just 0.8 of a penalty added here on the second day.